We are here at the Adler Planetarium in Chicago with invited guests, staff, and teachers, students, and parents from Columbia Explorers Academy, a Chicago public school. The students are excited to talk to you, and we will now start with question number one. Have you had any success spawning plants in outer space? If so, which plants? That's a really good question. Um, we do have to think about growing plants because eventually we'd like not to have to bring our food up all the time. It turns out I'm floating right below an experiment called the European Cultivation uh, Modular System, Modular Cultivation System, and we actually can grow plants under varying amounts of gravity. And we were actually successful in growing something, although I don't remember what kind of a plant it is but it was uh, definitely visible that we could see the seedlings actually sprouting, so it was successful. Uh, this is question number two. If you have any, if you have been in space for a long time, do, do you have any trouble walking when you come back to Earth? Also a very good question. As a matter of fact, uh, we do have some trouble with our stability and with our muscle strength and our bone density when we come back to Earth. And as a result of that, we end up doing quite a lot of exercise when we're in space, over two, or over two hours every day. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of one of our uh, pieces of uh, exercise equipment. It's called the um, CVIS, which stands for Cycle Ergometer Vibration Isolation System, and you can see it's kind of in my left hand, this frame that I'm holding, you can see it's kind of wiggly. It's actually a bicycle. It might not look like it. I'm going to let Sonny talk while I get inside, and you'll see. Along with the CVIS, we also have the TVIS, which is a treadmill vibration isolation system, and a resistive exercise device. So we get to ride the bike, we get to run, and we get to lift weights in a, in a manner of speaking. So right now, Michael is on the CVIS, and you can see, uh, so you just clip in with the normal clipless pedals that you use on Earth, and uh, you, can, you can cycle. And we have it hooked up to a computer uh, right here up on the ceiling, which allows you to vary how hard you have to cycle. Um. What kinds of medicines are you experimenting with on the space station? Well, I'll give you an example of one type of medicine. We uh, take a medicine to uh, tell whether or not or help whether or not you uh, can potentially avoid getting renal stones uh, while you're up here. And uh, that's a, a big deal because if we go away for a in a, to distant places, to the moon or to Mars, we're going to want to prevent some of these types of things. So that's just an example of some of the medicine that we're taking up here. Um, other things are getting back to the exercise equipment. We're primarily trying to figure out how to maintain our bone density and our muscle mass to let us stay into space for longer periods of time. How do you produce oxygen on the space station? Well, as you know, oxygen is uh, very important to us. And as it turns out, we just, in the last three days or so, installed something called an oxygen generation system. And what it does is it takes water, which is made, as you know, of hydrogen and oxygen, and divides it. And we use the oxygen to breathe, and the hydrogen we send overboard. We have one of these systems on the Russian segment. It's called Electron, and now we, generate, we installed another one called the Oxygen Generation System just in the U.S. lab about uh, two, or in the last two or three days. Have you had positive results to experiments that might help us here on Earth? Well, I think, I think so, because we are, are right now the 14th expedition to the space station, and folks are coming back from space after spending six to seven months up here, and they're able to get back 
in shape with no problems. Uh, bone density has been uh, not as big of a problem as it's been potentially in the past, and people are able to function and go running and swimming again before too long. So I think the, the I mean, whatever medicines we're using up here and some of the exercise protocol that we talked about has really been working. So um, it's good to know that when we come back, we'll be fine. What, uh, what do you eat while you are on space on the space station? 